This is Alice, and this is Bob. Alice and Bob share a common set of friends. Can we use this common set of friends to predict if Alice and Bob will date? Let's consider two scenarios. In the first scenario, let's say Alice and Bob have four friends in common. None of these common friends know each other. In this scenario, we're interested in the probability of Alice and Bob dating, given four common friends who don't know each other. In another scenario, Alice and Bob again have four friends in common. But this time, all of these common friends know each other. In this scenario, we're interested in the probability of Alice and Bob dating, given four common friends who all know each other. In which scenario are Alice and Bob more likely to date? Well, we can start by looking at how Alice and Bob's mutual friends are connected. We call the way these friends are connected Alice and Bob's common neighbor subgraph. Let's see what the common neighbor subgraph can tell us about Alice and Bob dating. In the first scenario, Alice and Bob's common neighbor subgraph is more diverse, because their mutual friends don't know each other. As these friends form connections, the subgraph diversity decreases, until we reach the second scenario. In the second scenario, Alice and Bob's common neighbor subgraph is less diverse, because their mutual friends all know each other. The structural diversity of a common neighborhood depends on the number of mutual friends that make up this neighborhood. As this number increases, the number of potential structures also grows. The bigger the common neighborhood size and the fewer the number of connections, the more diverse the structure. Let's go back to Alice and Bob. We know that Alice and Bob are connected in a network. Their four mutual friends form a common neighborhood with one of the following 11 structures in the network. Given Alice and Bob's mutual friends, we can ask a simple question. Are Alice and Bob more likely to date if their common subgraph is more diverse or less diverse? It depends on the network. In some networks, the structural diversity of the common neighborhood positively impacts the formation of links. In these networks, Alice and Bob would be less likely to date the better that their mutual friends know each other. In other networks, the structural diversity of the common neighborhood negatively impacts the formation of links. In these networks, Alice and Bob would be more likely to date if their mutual friends know each other. But how does this compare to if Alice and Bob had only three mutual friends? Structural homophily suggests that with more mutual friends, Alice and Bob would be more likely to form a connection, to date. When accounting for the structural diversity of common friends, the principle of homophily is violated. That is, it may be more likely for Alice and Bob to be friends with three common friends than with four. Our work catalogs the effects of structural diversity on 120 different networks. Curious about the results for Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, or another network? Wonder if our results hold for random graphs? See our paper in KDD 2017 for the answers and more details. Thanks for watching.